Our next step is to mount the altimeter itself. Um, I've already drilled the holes and tapped them. <clears throat> and we're going to use the little nylon screws. But we need some little washers to go underneath the altimeter itself to keep the altimeter off the board. Um, there's a pressure sensor there and the air has to get to it. On the uh, plywood sheet there's these little rings and you only need four and the, the others are extras in case you need them. Uh, so I'm going to punch those out. And also remove the little centers from them. Now, um, the perfect flight doesn't matter which orientation it goes. Um, the Altus Metrum, remember, it has the USB cable, so it has to go that way. So typically what I do is I try to get all the wires as close to the battery and to the uh, switch as possible. So to put this on, I'm going to put the screw through the hole here on the altimeter and then slide the washer underneath and it's got enough grip that it will hold. Just like that. And I'm going to take the altimeter, put it on the board like that. Take a screwdriver. Where's my big one? Here's the big one. I'll just screw those. Getting them started is just is the hardest part because you gotta kind of find the hole there. Once you get one, the rest seem to go a little quicker. Just snug them down pretty good, just like that. Okay, our next step is to hook up our battery. Here's the battery cable, and this is polarity sensitive, which means you got to hook up the right wire. Um, it is marked on the altimeter where the negative terminal goes. Um, that was the black, so I'm going to put the black one into the terminal block and then screw it down. And give a little tug on it to make sure that it's in there nice and snug. You don't want these coming out during flight. You lose your power, nothing's going to happen. Been there, done that. Okay, give a tug on both. That's good. Um, the battery itself is going to go right here on the altimeter board and it just gets taped on. I'm just going to use some masking tape and I got blue tape here but you can use regular masking tape just as well. And just tape it down. Just there like that. Okay now See, when I'm ready to fly, I can just hook up the, the connector like that. And that's pretty simple to do. Now the switch, there's a switch on the altimeter board too. And that's right there. And these wires are a little bit long. So you can trim them if you want. And I think I will. So I'm just going to find the length right there. I got a wire cutter here. Cut them off, and this is 20, 20, 22 gauge wire. So I got on my wire strippers. I got 22 gauge, and I'm only going to strip off less than an eighth of an inch. And they're just like that. And if you've got a soldering iron, you might want to uh, put a little solder on them. Um, and that stiffens them up so they are less likely to pull out of the terminal blocks. Once you get them stripped, 
these are not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which hole that they go into on the altimeter. With the battery hooked up and the switch hooked up, switch still will work. Um, if I want to test it, I can connect the battery, turn it on, and I'm getting beeps. So everything's working so far. Um, in our next step, in the next video, we'll go ahead and hook up the igniters and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to show you how to start putting the ejection canisters on too. So until then,